The Tesla versus Michigan lawsuit gets all the more interesting. A unique Model 3 release candidate has been spotted, and concrete evidence the next generation Roadster is a real thing. Here's Tesla Tidbits episode number 267 for July 14th, 2017. Electric has more on the story that just keeps on giving. We start today with the Tesla versus Michigan lawsuit. Now, I brought you this story earlier in the week, actually, with a segment in the comedy department. This was the story on the filing that the release of emails between the legislative folks and the dealers, manufacturers, and associations were being protested on grounds that angry emails and voicemails would increase. Turns out a little extra detail was missed with Model 3 Owners Club that posted that. The protest wasn't being levied by the legislators. As it turns out, the filing was being made by Kurt Berryman, who is the man in charge of government relations for both the Michigan Auto Dealers Association and the Detroit Auto Dealers Association. In a peculiar filing that almost admits guilt without actually saying it, Kurt talks in the filing about how nobody will talk to him anymore since receiving the subpoena. Quote, Due to the fact that I have been served a subpoena seeking documents and related communications with dealers regarding Tesla and legislation that relates to the direct sale or service of vehicles by manufacturers to consumers, I have already begun to suffer cognizable harm and my speech and participation within the associations has been chilled, end quote. A little bit later in the filing, he goes on to talk about how folks he interacts with are concerned about being pulled into the lawsuit if they say anything to him, and he's being essentially kicked out of meetings he normally would attend. Quote, As a result, some of the associations and their members have withdrawn their invitation for me to attend their respective meetings, or otherwise restricted what I say at their respective meetings. End quote. He goes on to list at least six examples of this. The full filing is filled with statements saying over and over again about how if certain discussions are allowed to be made public that it would be detrimental to him or those individuals. This filing, in my opinion, and I'm not a lawyer of course, basically makes it imperative that these conversations are brought to light. If there's any bearing on this case, the whole case being that the manufacturers, dealers, or their associations colluded with lawmakers to ban Tesla in the state via legislation, then they are crucial to the case. If there's no bearing on the case, then Tesla wouldn't care one iota about the communications and nothing will be brought up anyhow. Again, not being a lawyer, I'm not sure on what legal grounds Mr. Berryman has to basically say his communications can't be provided because people are going to be super angry with him, but it sounds to me like desperation time for the defendant here. A quickie here on a Model 3 release candidate spied by the guys at the Tesla show. They tweeted a photo of a Model 3 that was marked up with crash test markings and carrying large containers of water. The tweet said, quote, Model 3 testing with simulated passengers using water jugs, just like we described in our show. Also looks like it has crash test markings, end quote. What exactly the car is being used for is anyone's guess, as they've allegedly already sent the car for crash testing in Ohio, and they've had actual people filling the car as well. Check the picture out and let me know what you think they're doing. Now courtesy of Teslarati and Kim from the Like Tesla YouTube channel, Tesla has outed the fact that there truly is a next generation Roadster coming, and if you can pile up referrals, you can get a very nice discount on it. Folks that have re referred their allotment of five owners until now had received a notice in the Tesla app that their link had been used the maximum amount of times when clicking on the loot box. Now, however, a new secret level has been unlocked. The summary text said, quote, You've unlocked the first secret level. Refer five more friends for the ability to purchase a Founders Series next-gen Roadster at a 10% discount. Unlock new levels with every five referrals for an additional 2% off per referral and amazing adventures that money can't buy, end quote. The detail on the program goes on to intimate that, yes, you can indeed refer all the way up to 100% discount on the next-gen Roadster. You just have to refer 50 people in the time frame of the referral program to do it. Piece of cake, right? Good luck to everyone that tries. One final show note that news has been lacking lately, to say the least. Just wanted to let you know that missing two shows in a single week for the first time since starting the show is not something I take lately. Luckily, I had a tidbits from the road in the can to fill in on Tuesday, at least. If there's only one story in a given day, I tend to hold those since the show would be more the open and close than any actual news. As always, I try to ensure that the stories I bring you are worth your time as well. I know your time is valuable, and I thank you for your continued support of the show. You can find the links to today's full stories in the show description. This show operates on a value-for-value value model. If you get some value out of what I do each day, please consider supporting me at patreon.com slash Tesla Tidbits. Thanks so much to my newest patron, Tim Benford, for his support.
Thanks, as always, to my super patrons, John Waltower, Drew Schuyler, John Waller, Mark and Sarah Thomas, Ryan Scarborough, Lee Sweet, William Henry Crew III, and Dory Guberman as well. If you've got no extra cash available, you know the drill, that's quite alright. Please show your love with positive feedback and subscriptions on YouTube, Apple Podcasts, and other services across the internet, or keep the show referral code in mind if you're in the market for a Tesla. That code is ts.la slash jon4602, and it'll get you $1,000 off the car and free supercharging for the life of the vehicle. That's all for this week. If you have feedback for me, the best way to be heard is to tweet at Tesla Tidbits. I'll see you back here again next week. Until then, keep it charged and hit the road.